my six month review of a Schwinn Spin Bike IC4. I pretty much use it every day, more or less. And I've got some good and not so good things I've learned about it that I can share with those who are interested in buying one in the future. The good, it's a sturdy, quiet ride, as you can hear. It's a really quality build and the resistance being controlled by magnets is key to all that. My previous spin bike I owned was cheap and because it was cheap it was noisy. The resistance felt pad chafed and made a mess and within a year the resistance mechanism itself stripped and made it worthless, useless, so that's when I went to purchase this bike. This bike, I have heard some random, random noises occasionally, and when that's occurred, I've just set the resistance to zero and spun for a minute or two, and it seems to play out well. But not so good. There's play in the handlebars, as you can see. It hasn't really caused me any trouble when I'm actually spinning. It's important to note that this is not a smart bike. The display is really only good for tracking time, the RPM, the distance, the resistance, which resistance being key. Calorie, calories burned aren't customizable to you. And the pulse and heart rate function that comes with this rarely would sync up to the display. And it was really a huge PETA, so I stopped using it altogether. I was never able to figure out how it's to sync. It's a huge what? P-I-T-A, pain in the oh, okay. figure it out. All right. So I was never able to figure out how to sync my Apple Watch to it either. There are other ways though to make your I don't think smart. I don't think it syncs with your Apple Watch. It, can, it said it, it could. And I tried. But it didn't work for but you. But it never worked. So there are other ways to be smart on your ride, of course. I have an Apple Watch that I use, and it does come with a really nice holder here, as you can see, for your tablet. Mm -hmm. So you can stream videos like I did this morning um, to have a good, nice spin session and monitor your heart rate at the same time. There's one more thing about this that uh, I can few people in on if you're short like me I'm four foot eleven it's not an easy reach to the handlebars I definitely can't ever comfortably reach to the end but I can reach to here and I spin upright a lot if you're short that could be a little bit of an issue other than that it's a pretty how about for tall folks no problem no problem I don't think tons of clearance what about the seat how's the seat seat it's a little bit hard, but did you get used to it? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's great. Other than that. What's your overall? Pretty good. I'm happy with it. Pretty good for it you. Works Does pretty for me. good mean I made it really work good? For me. Pretty good in your turn. Does that mean really good? I like it. You like it a lot? Much better than my cheap one. So just FYI, for her saying pretty good is like an eight or a nine. She's kind of hard to... Anyways, she's pretty wrapping tough on this stuff. up. If you are interested in this bike and purchase one, we've got an installation video you can check out as well. I think that's a wrap.